The northeast of Scotland was once the home of an extensive system of branches linking every corner of this sparsely populated area. However, by the 1950s, the sight and sound of ancient 440s winding their way along these remote lines was fast becoming an anachronism. It was perhaps inevitable that this system should be decimated by the closures of the 50s and 60s. Recent years have seen just two of this former system of branches remaining open to traffic. The line to Burghead closed to passenger traffic way back in 1931, but still retains freight destined for both Burghead and Rose Isle. Further to the east, Keith is a junction for a line running to Dufftown. In 1984, this line closed to freight traffic destined for the Glenfiddich distillery at Dufftown. However, the branch was to enjoy a further lease of life as the route of the Northern Bell, running during the summer months to the distillery. Sadly, the last of these were to run late in 1990, and early this year, BR was to announce the closure of the line from the 31st of March, 1991. To mark the end of the line, one final train was to be organised and run by Grampian Rail Tours. On the 21st of March at 11 a.m., a Class 47 and a rake of Mark III coaches would make its way for one final time along the line. Note the surviving fixed distance at Keith Town Station. The platforms survived and were until recently used for stabling the Queen of Scots special train. The first of two intermediate stations along the line is at Okindaki. Note the platform and simple station buildings still in place. The summit is located just to the east of Dufftown. The 47 is seen having just passed the summit and is starting the descent to the terminus. We've now arrived at the terminus. Dovetown was once a through station on the former Great North of Scotland route from Elgin to Keith via Craigalachie. Closure of this route to passenger traffic came on the 6th of May, 1968. Just to the north, and still open to through traffic, is the former competing Highland Main Line from Elgin to Keith.
For the last time, groups of enthusiasts gather to witness the final use of the Run Round Loop. And in the early afternoon, the very last train left the terminus for the climb to the summit. The Dufftown Line's existence for six years as a tourist route was to come to an end once the cost of maintenance was considered too high for the line's continuation. As such, it marks an ignominious end to the branch line network that once served northeast Scotland.